All right, my bad, people. Freaking OBS went and crashed my computer. <sighs> Thank goodness the footage didn't get lost, but looks like the ending is gonna be a separate video. So here we go. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to- Light some candles, and finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Got it. Yeah, I had to show you the last trophy. <laughs> Gives you this thing here. So that's all the graffitis for, for episode two. Now, I don't think there's anything else to speak on with her about. Dinner will be ready in just a moment. Did you light the candles? No, I did not. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Yep. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. It's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. 
With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Rachel's about to break. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. Yo, you gonna regret that. <laughs> to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blowny. Rachel? Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel... Can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey... Whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. No offense, Mr. Amber, but I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Yeah, Amber about to implode. Like, is anyone not paying attention to what she's up to right now? <laughs> Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Dun, dun, dun. A surprise to literally nobody. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even I caught that when, uh, when I first played this game. Well, I hope, I hope Drew, you made much better decisions, bro, because your brother got hurt in the process. I have to put this down because, of course, another copyright. Money, bro. <laughs> it's 
bitches. Fire is still going. And if you're in love, then you are the lucky one. Cause most of us are bitter over someone. Setting fire to our insides for fun. To distract our hearts from ever missing. And that ends Brave New World. So on this end, this video will be up. Literally right after um, the actual episode, so looking forward to that. Um, you have you took the you and seventy percent of players took the blame for Rachel. You and sixty four percent of players emptied your pockets at David's request. Thirty five percent of you stayed with Mikey. Yeah. Literally, either one of them was gonna get was gonna get hurt. Either Drew gets his leg broken, and so then there goes his sponsorship, or what you saw with Mikey. At least Drew, he if he continues on with his sponsorship, he could still like help his family. But if they broke, like I don't know, I don't know, man. I guess there was a way that you can actually also still hand the money, whatever, but I don't. Like, I weighed my options on that one. Was it you and 75% of players? You asked Rachel for a kiss. 10% of y'all get a tattoo. Give her your face set. Hmm. What is his name? I don't think I have any friends that played this game. Yeah. Okay, so next. Okay, you and 25% of players decided to not go with to the play with Elliot. Yeah, for good reason. 25%. <laughs> uh, you, you refused to start over. Damn, y'all really decided to start over with, with Frank? I'm thinking uh, with uh with David. I guess, I guess what David ends up becoming literally at the very last episode of of Life is Strange. I guess why you you guys did that. But just to follow suit with the the story, I kind of had to go the other direction. What is it? You and sixty nine percent of players. You put the signing man on the dashboard. Some of y'all did, probably didn't even find him. Uh, you and 90% of players, you didn't pay off your debt to Frank. Hmm. You paid off. You and 88% of players. You didn't tell Seth that Rachel was single. Yeah, because she ended up with me. <laughs> Why am I going to give you the deeds? 69% uh, of players, you did not return Drew's money to him. Uh, you and 17% of players, you told Samantha to give Nathan space.
46 percent of y'all just didn't even give her advice <laughs> i feel it uh 32 percent of players you tricked victoria before the play three three you confronted her encouraged victoria before the play and 19 discouraged victoria from acting in the play. wow i didn't even know that was an option <laughs> Damn, y'all cold. Uh, you and 29% of players, you told Rachel you'd like to go on a road trip. Some of y'all said Los, 42% of y'all said Los Angeles, but she came from there and she, she, already, she already made it clear she wanted to go somewhere else. But I guess whatever. 71% of players, Rachel attacked James at dinner. Yeah, that was not my place. Uh, okay. I guess that makes it that. Alright, so we'll be starting with the next episode. Oh my gosh, no, no, no! Move it, move it, move it. Damn it. Game, 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 game. Are you? I'm trying to exit. I'm gonna wait till the save thing comes off. Come on! I'll tell you all of it. But oh my gosh! Sure that Chloe should. Thank you. Woo! Oh, that almost made a mistake. Anyway, <laughs> that's gonna end the video here. Hope you liked it. Uh, did hope you did. Hit the like button for this video and the last video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow my so you know, social medias in the description down below. And yeah, you'll see the final episode real soon. Till then, we'll have a go. And deuces.